Tesla Model 3 and Model Y receive latest round of price hikes in the US and China, while Tesla's 4 to 680 battery ramp may experience the beginning of a death valley, but it will be overcome. Tesla starts sending out invitations for Giga Berlin Delivery Day on March 22. Today's question is, should Tesla increase EV range to match gas car range? Will EV range continue to increase? Is there a real need for over 300 or so miles of range? Well, keep on watching this video to find out all about it. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We compile the latest tech and automobile news, our videos are guaranteed to keep you coming back for more exciting content, so make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel so you're always up to date with our latest videos as soon as they're uploaded. To state that Tesla's future lies in the success or failure of the 4680 battery is not an understatement. Without 4680 cells, Tesla's efforts to create an affordable car at a price point beneath the Model 3 would likely be for naught. But if the company succeeds in ramping up production of its 4680 cells, Tesla could well pave the way for electric vehicles to become the dominant form of personal transportation for decades to come. Getting there isn't easy. Tesla officially announced its 4680 battery project in September 2020, and since then, the company has been working to ramp up production of next-generation batteries. Tesla produced its millionth 4680 battery in January. That's a milestone in itself, but it does show that the company has a long way to go before it fully upgrades its new battery. Industry researcher Benchmark Mineral Intelligence estimates that 1 million 4680 batteries are only enough for 1,200 Model Ys. Tesla intends to produce far more than that per week at its Gigafactory Texas alone. Tesla's 4680 cells are designed differently than conventional batteries, and they are manufactured differently than conventional batteries. Tesla plans to use a new manufacturing technique called dry electrode coating, which the company obtained when it acquired Maxwell Technologies in 2019. Dry electrode manufacturing will allow Tesla to skip traditional steps in conventional battery production, significantly reducing costs. While Tesla gained access to the technology, the innovation involved in mass production of 4680 cells using dry electrode coatings was a huge challenge. Elon Musk has noted that the factory equipment for the process alone doesn't exist, so they still have to be made. Shirley Ming, a professor at the University of Chicago who has worked with Maxwell, noted that Tesla's efforts with the 4680 battery could change the industry. She also emphasized that Tesla's challenges in mass-producing the next-generation battery would be immense. Elon Musk is changing the way how battery manufacturing is done. It's really, really difficult to manufacture at a speed and at scale, she said. She also said that Tesla may have to go through the valley of death to start scaling up the dry electrode process for the 4680 battery. She does, however, believe that Tesla would overcome these difficulties. Other experts and longtime followers of the company seem to agree on the difficulties involved in developing and promoting new batteries. Caspar Rawls, chief data officer at Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, points out that fine-tuning just the production equipment for battery production is an extremely lengthy process that challenges even industry veterans. There's a very long process of fine-tuning the equipment before you can get to volume production. Battery production is hard, even hard for experienced suppliers, he said. Moving on to the next update, the long-range variants of Tesla's Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover have received a $1,000 price adjustment in the United States. In China, some variants of the Model 3 and Model Y also received a 10,000 yuan, about $1,500 price increase. With the latest round of price adjustments, the cost of the Model 3 long-range dual motor in the US has increased from $50,990 to $51,990, excluding options and incentives. On the other hand, the Model Y long-range dual motor starts at $59,990. The Model Y performance now starts at $64,990, excluding options and incentives. In China, the Model 3 performance is the variant that saw a 10,000 yuan price adjustment, with the vehicle now starting at 349,900 yuan from its previous price of 339,900 yuan. The Model Y long range now starts at 357,900 yuan from its previous cost of 347,900 yuan. And the Model Y performance now starts at 397,900 yuan from 387,900 before options and incentives. While Tesla hasn't specified the reasoning behind its latest round of price increases, the recent correction is believed to be due to a rise in the price of nickel, which is used in the long range Model 3 and Model Y's battery pack. 
This is hinted at by the fact that the base Model 3 RWD did not see a price increase. The base Model 3 RWD has a lithium iron phosphate battery that does not use nickel. While the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y remain strong contenders in both the US and Chinese markets, the vehicles have received a number of key price adjustments over the past year. For example, the price of the Model Y long range has risen about 20% from January 2021. The price of the Model 3 long range rose 10.6% over the same period. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas warned that rising nickel costs could lead to higher prices for electric vehicles vehicles such as Tesla. Just recently, the price of nickel on the London Metal Exchange soared above $100,000 per metric ton, prompting a trading halt. Several reasons are behind nickel's price increase, though it is believed that a driving factor is Russia's invasion of Ukraine. With potential sanctions on Russian nickel, the supply of the material to Western countries might be constrained in the near future. Up to the next update. The wait for the first Tesla Model Y customer vehicles built at Gigafactory Berlin in Germany is almost over as the EV maker has confirmed the start of deliveries for March 22. Tesla began sending out invites for its delivery day event on March 22 at 3 p.m. local time, confirming a report from last week. As you probably know, the automaker has built hundreds of cars at the factory but isn't allowed to sell them to customers. After months of delays, Tesla last week finally received its official building permit following the environmental approval of its assembly plant located on the outskirts of the German capital. This is believed to be the final regulatory step required for Tesla to officially start producing cars at its Gata factory in Berlin. However, the approval is tied to about 400 different conditions that automakers must comply with. While that may sound like a lot of work, German officials said at the time that they expected Tesla to meet all requirements within the next two weeks. That would have put the start of production and deliveries at the end of March, and Tesla has now confirmed that by announcing the delivery day event on March 22. The Berlin plant is critical to Tesla's expansion plans in Europe, as it will allow it to manufacture and distribute cars more efficiently. Currently, Tesla imports Model Y and Model 3 vehicles from China for European countries, but that may end once Gigafactory Berlin is fully operational, so the Chinese factory will be able to put more production into the local market, significantly reducing shipping costs and shortening lead times. Currently, Tesla has only confirmed production of the Model Y in Germany, but the company could also produce the Model 3 at the new factory without too many modifications. The first Model Y electric cars produced at the Berlin plant will be equipped with 2170-type cylindrical batteries, with the goal of switching to 4680-type cylindrical batteries later. Buyers are often afraid to switch to electric vehicles because of the range compared to gas cars, but the next few years could change that for better or worse. According to research from Bell Resources, recently reported by Gizmodo, EV could have a similar range already offered by gas vehicles by 2024. With global EV sales growth in nearly every market, including sales tripling in Australia between 2020 and 2021, many buyers remain concerned about vehicles range and hesitation, as Bell Resources CEOs and founder Mark Avery detailed. The elimination of range anxiety is significant given that Australian cities occupy relatively large geographic areas, a limiting consideration that currently acts as a barrier of mainstream EV adoption, said Avery. We're also predicting that EV will reach cost parity in Australia by 2030. This will significantly boost uptake as well as the need for charging infrastructure, he added. While most electric cars in Australia have a top range of between 500 and 600 kilometers, 311 and 373 miles, petrol cars tend to provide between 650 and 1,875 kilometers, 404 to 1,165 miles per gas tank. Interestingly, this research comes weeks before Tesla's CEO Elon Musk pointed out that the automaker could have produced its own 600-mile range surface. Still, Musk says they chose not to because of the added weight and decrease in performance as detailed recently by Business Insider. We could have made a 600-mile model s 12 months ago, but that would have made the product worse, said Musk, responding to a thread about the recently delivered Lucid Air with 520 miles of range. 99.9% .9 of time you'd be carrying unneeded battery mass, which makes acceleration, handling, and efficiency worse. Even our 400-plus mile range car is more than almost anyone will use," he added. Tesla's long-range model 3 variant weighs about 172 pounds more than the RWD edition, and it offers 358 miles of range to the RWD 272 miles per charge. Tesla's vehicles tend towards the higher range end of the EV spectrum. However, 
Pushing the range even higher could add hundreds, if not thousands, of pounds to the vehicle. In addition to reduced efficiency, that added battery weight can also increase the risk of fatalities in the case of accidents, as detailed by a UC Berkeley study published in the Review of Economic Studies. According to the research, being hit by a vehicle that is 1,000 pounds heavier generates a 40-50% increase in fatality risk. And while many drivers with EV do buy primarily for range, another factor that could make it easier for new buyers to go electric is the coming national EV charging infrastructure and added home and apartment charging support. Still, the shortcomings of long-range EV haven't stopped some from developing their own solutions, including the Michigan startup that developed the 750-mile Tesla Model S battery. For this reason, it is still very likely that we will see advanced technology and new vehicles offering petrol-level ranges in the years to come. So what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated on every single topic related to the EV industry, you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. Also thank you for watching the video, this is us signing off, see you guys in the next one, until then peace.